And this topic is how to get management to listen to you. Um, Agile coaches are continuously complaining about management's unwillingness to listen. Um, It's like people talk about permafrost and you might actually think that or realize that this negative attitude about management is somewhat a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you think someone's not going to listen to you, well, you probably have an attitude that's having that happen. You remember the topic before, how to get someone, uh, how to work with someone who's like being belligerent or a jerk. Well, don't take that attitude. You lose all power. Same thing with management. So the first step is to respect management and be open to a dialogue. Understand the business perspective because that's what they're interested in. So come from that. Speak from their point of view. And don't expect them to buy into Agile. Don't expect them to just adopt it without question. You know, don't don't say uh, something like, if they ask something, well, then we wouldn't be doing Scrum. We can't do that because we wouldn't be following Agile. Well, they don't care. Uh, and I'm using the words interchangeably there, you know, which doesn't really make sense. But you hear that a lot. Don't say things like that. Don't Don't conflate the two. Let management understand what's happening. Let them see what's going on. There's this, that's transparency, visibility. It's important. Never believe people are coming with ill intentions, especially management. You have to enroll them and being belligerent with them is not a good thing, okay? Uh, Be able and prepared to explain why Agile works. You know, why does it work? It's not just that it does. If you don't understand why it works, if you can't explain why it works, then don't expect management to accept it. You know, understand basic premises of things like lean and flow and theory of constraints. There's some theory there that managers might like and appreciate, and they've heard success stories. So talk about them. Understand basic value stream management. So you hear a lot of agilists blame managers for not participating fully. But given the history of being called basically chickens and not committed in the chicken and pig story, which has fortunately been dropped pretty much by most scrum people, Acknowledge that there's a history to overcome as well. Now, there's some interesting thoughts from Dr. Ellie Goldratt from The Choice that I really like. And one of them, and I'm just going to read this. uh, The difficulty is that if I'm not sure, really sure that a second effect doesn't exist, or a second effect does exist, excuse me, I might stay inside the box. It is always safer to stay within the comfortable boundaries of a box than to jump out into the unknown. Since the other effect is not within that box. So here he's talking about when we're trying to discover if there's a better way to do things. I won't find it because I'm not looking for it because I don't think it exists. That's a little bit of my own ad lib to the quote. I will not find it. I'll give up searching and remain stuck with a tautology, basically circular logic. And this is really important thing here. A comfort zone has less to do with control and more to do with knowledge. We talk about command and control like they aren't willing to let go of it, but it's often they don't see an alternative. And this is actually really important to notice. Another quote, it is obvious that we should expect resistance when the person is seeing a difficult cause and effect relationship that we are employing. How much resistance? Well, it depends on what our, we've led our clients to believe in their existing cause and effect connection. I now believe that we had better distinguish between two different types of situations, one where people have experience and the other where people do not. Okay, this is just a comment on this. This is why I actually believe in viewing systems, complex systems of knowledge work as having aspects of it that are simple, some that are complicated, some that are complex, some that are prone to nonlinear events. A little thing makes a big difference. When you look at it that way, then you can take advantage of the cause and effect that's there that you can see, knowing that other things are present that may make it difficult uh, or may surprise you. And that's why you need quick feedback. So you can talk to managers about that there's some aspect that's understandable and some aspect that's not so understandable. And then be prepared for making changes on what's understandable and being prepared for things not working exactly the way you want because of the complexity that might obscure something, but then you're going to learn. So you can make it where you and managers learn together instead of you lecturing them about something. Okay. Hope that was useful.